Hello, in this video, I'm going to talk about the difference between cranial and spinal reflexes. First, a quick review of a reflex arc. Uh, we start with the stimulus that triggers the reflex. That information is carried via a sensory neuron to an integrating center in the central nervous system. Uh, there, the information is relayed to a motor neuron that carries the information about the response that we want to have to that stimulus. Um, and that information is carried to the effector, which is the actual structure that does the responding. It's always muscles or glands. So a cranial reflex is a reflex where the integration takes place in the brain and that um, either the sensory or motor information or both is being carried via a cranial nerve. On a spinal reflex, the integration takes place in the spinal cord and the information is carried by a spinal nerve. Um, cranial and spinal reflexes could be autonomic or somatic. And in both cases, a report of what happened is also sent to higher levels of the brain so that you can be consciously aware of what's taking place. For example, um, a somatic spinal reflex would be a withdrawal reflex. So when you pull back from a hot stove to avoid being burned, um, that is happening automatically. It's a reflex that takes place in the spinal cord. Uh, but when that happens, we also send sort of a report of what happened up the spinal cord to higher levels of the brain so that you're aware of what happened. You're not surprised all of a sudden by what just happened because you're also filled in on what's taking place as it's happening. Um, so that is true for both cranial and spinal reflexes. We get that secondary report that goes up to the brain after the fact. Um, an example of a cranial reflex that is autonomic would be a pupillary light reflex. A somatic cranial reflex would be the corneal reflex that causes you to blink if you touch your eye. Um, then an autonomic spinal reflex is a defecation reflex. Uh, so that's relaxation of the internal anal sphincter that's under autonomic control that happens in response to rectal distension. Uh, so as fecal matter moves into the rectum, it creates pressure and that pressure causes uh, the reflex to take place that causes the internal anal sphincter to relax. A uh, somatic spinal reflex, again, like I mentioned, would be the withdrawal reflex. So those are just a few examples, but of course, there are many, many examples of autonomic and somatic reflexes that happen both through cranial nerves and through spinal nerves. All right. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I hope you have a great day.